When you see that field of blue, you know it can be only one place in the world. Boise, Idaho, on the campus of Boise State and home to the fabled giant killers, the Boise State Broncos. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Nevada Wolf Pack, taking on a fellow Mountain West foe, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Broncos will boot it away to start the game. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Wolfpack offense takes the field, and we'll get a look at them first. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now, how about that defense on the snap? They are in the backfield with great penetration. Nowhere to go for the running back. That defense was sitting on G, waiting on O. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Lewis wants to pass. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Nevada will be forced to punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Fair catch called for and made. So the Boise State Broncos offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Power football with the run. Still on his feet at the 45. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground. You see the speed by the ball carrier there. He's picking up a huge chunk of yards. I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't just run that play again. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why not just go back to the well one more time? He'll pull it on the read. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious the defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. From the red zone, looking for a man. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with a score. And that's just a huge missed opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12.
They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Using his feet to buy time. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And this one only 35 yards out, but not straight away. This one from the left hash. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And the first point of the day come on that field goal. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Coming out with it, it's Hayes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Nevada going quickly. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Lewis to throw. Complete to the right. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. This Nevada offense really has it going. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit, because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. With the catch, it's Smith. He saw man coverage, and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man, and, and see the cushion, and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the end zone! Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. 
from the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. And the try is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football and we got the lead. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the lock. Oh, look out! He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. And how about the quarterback? How about the athletic ability for this guy? He's so quick, so elusive, so fast, can make these big plays. And before you blink, he's 30-plus yards down the field, making your defense look silly. The Broncos come to the line in the hurry-up. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Gonna run it. It's Genty. Pulled down for the tackle. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down mark, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat. Low man wins. All the cliches to get that third down and shoot. And the Broncos have it with a first and ten. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Quarterback moving out. Of, and the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and long. Dropping back, it's Nelson. They'll run the screen. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Escapes trouble. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. 
Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Absolutely perfect. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Might as well stick with him. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Finds his target down the middle. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. The give to the left. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Lewis wants to pass. Finds a tight end. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, he'll fire. Got his man quickly. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all dime means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away.
He'll take it on the return. Just a wall of defenders everywhere he looks, and he's guided out of bounds after a short return. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27th. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give out of the gun. Got the first down and still on his feet. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Back to pass, it's Nelson. Fires to the tight end. At the 45 on his way. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. The Broncos in the hurry up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. They'll give it to the back. Dragged down at the 39, but he's got five yards, and they'll move the sticks. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. And the Broncos will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They're down to the 25 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He looks that one in nicely. And he's brought down after a nice game. And that's a really good example of why offensive coordinators script plays. You know the down and distance, and you know which routes can get you to the stick. So there's no waste of time. That coordinator got the play in early to his quarterback, knowing that his players were going to be able to execute. They'll throw it on first down. Buying some time. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to pass. It's Nelson. He's got it. And he was thinking six, but that D knocks him down at the two. And quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Broncos! An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays. But how about the execution, running and throwing the football? Wow.
Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they stretch the lead to 13. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Finds his man. It's Smith. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. The give to the lone running back. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat out hatred that comes with a good old fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Nevada set to kick off to start the third quarter. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Boise State ready to send out that offense. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Throwing right. Got his man all by himself. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Gets it out fast. Stopped after making the catch. And I love working the slot receivers. And you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense for sure. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Quick completion to the right. Smashes through. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. After picking up a couple at second and eight. 
Looking for a man. It's Nelson. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Broncos want to crank the tempo. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Got some room, headed to the goal line. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, looking again to throw. Touchdown, Bronco! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. He's looking to throw. He's into the end zone for the two and extends the lead. They march 79 yards on the drive, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Bringing it back. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of a defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Gets it out quickly. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Tight end finds a soft spot. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Nevada comes to the line after getting the first down. Hand off from the gun. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. They'll run it from the gun. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Man, I do not want a guy that will dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. Nevada going quickly. To the ground with the back. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. Eighth play of the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Lewis to throw. He's got it. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Makes his connection. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. Finds his big tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. He unleashes a long one. Makes the grab on the right. Touchdown, BSU! And the stomping has commenced. How about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. Number three is coming soon. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 54 yards with the explosive play in the passing game for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. That last one looked like a back-breaking drive, David, but they ended up punting. Yeah, and they put some plays together, put some yards together, but the most important stat is putting points on the board. And this offense has to finish, Jesse, when they get across that 50-yard line and start getting in scoring territory. Yeah, there, there was some good execution, no doubt about it, but I think it's the critical down and distances, third down in particular. They've got to be better moving forward. Lewis wants to pass. And with the pressure on him, the quarterback goes down, and we've played three quarters here. Now 
That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. This has been a complete obliteration so far, as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Got his man downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Using the quick game. And the ball's on the ground. How in the world did the offense retain possession? So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Wants to throw on second down. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And that's why the bullet pass is so important. Sometimes these defenses, they don't give you big windows to throw into. And you want to take that chance, but you cannot lob that football down the field and get it in there. Nice use of the bullet pass, my friend. This Nevada offense really has it going. Lewis to throw. Fires to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch up. And you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's got his man. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away. But if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Wolfpack with a first and ten here. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback keeps it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and twelve. He's looking to throw. He's got it and still on his feet. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. The late hit moves the ball up 15 yards. I know there's pressure, especially in this area of the field, to get to the quarterback, but you can't give up a first and goal there. Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. PAT unit on the field. The extra point is good, but they're still down 28-7. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. 
The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. Got the first down and more. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time, they attacked the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. Leaves it with the back. He's brought down after a nice game. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Now on second down. They'll try the run. Got enough for the first down. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive game. And it's just really nice to have an offense where you can control the ground game and keep that clock ticking. Right now, in these four-minute situations, when you have the lead, this is exactly what you practice, being more physical and running the football. Running back searching for a hole. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, the running back has it. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. With the run on first and goal. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. From the three-yard line, they'll try it again on third and goal. Trying to surge it in, and he'll be brought down. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. This is a short kick, but the problem is the angle. Splits the uprights. Good. 
And that will extend their lead even further. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Nevada takes over as the offense returns to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Soft spot in the middle. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. That quarterback has a hose. That dude could throw it to a car wash and not get it wet. Great job of putting that ball on the line to his wide receiver. Lewis wants to pass. Quickly out to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the end route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? To the air on first down. Hines his tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. And this game is obviously out of hand. But I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. Unleashes one. And that pass intercepted. He'll try to take it back. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Boise State. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. And man, the offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. Lining up to add another. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. After this, it'll be a wrap. Lewis to throw. They're trying to get to him. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. 